Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. We just killed Revolver Ocelot, and Baker died, told us about Meryl and all that. And we got to look at the back of the uh, CD case to find Meryl's frequency. But being that we don't actually own the game, this is Kojima's genius here. It's on the back of the actual case. So being that we don't have that, uh, it would be impossible without the internet because you'd have to go through each and every frequency in the hopes that you would finally contact her. But uh, I think this is it. I think. We'll try. No. Maybe, maybe we'll have to leave or something or have this equipped. God knows how this archaic shit works. No. All right. Well, I'm forced to assume then that, um, the, uh, methods we're going to have to use are different. Like we'll have to go outside of the jammed area or something like that. So I'm looking at a JPEG of the back of the CD and it's 14015. Yeah. There we go. Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful. They're beautiful eyes. <laughs> How just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the next generation special forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah, that's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Oh. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? 
Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither, yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? <coughs> After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. See, you would assume that if she's as familiar with the legend of Solid Snake as she claims to be, you would think she would be familiar with the fact that he previously had fought a Metal Gear. Nope. But whatever. We gotta check all these just out of. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, uh. Oh! See, that's a problem. I need to complete my thoughts. But first, we need to light some cigarettes here and crawl under these, uh. laser lights for the FAMAS. That's a uh, interesting choice for a weapon to choose. I think they just picked it. Wait, is my health not going down? Yeah, it is. Because it's a French assault rifle. I think it's just because it looks futuristic and all that jazz. But you would think with the... Oh, come on. With the terrorists being, you know... Well, that'll that's spoilers. Just an interesting choice of firearm. 
And especially because in no other installment of this series was that weapon ever used that I'm aware of. It's probably just because it looked cool and futuristic. Uh, you turning down here? No. Da -da. Oh, every time. Why? What? Wasn't I in here already? All right, well, since we kitted up like we did, I don't want to redo anything, so I'm going to call Mei Ling. What did it make? Start overwriting some saves. Mm. Snake, like Shakespeare said, not had all spent. What our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get too greedy, or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Hmm. God damn it, that circle What's button. Up, snake? Talk to you later, Snake. Thank God. All right, what are our reasonable options here? Clearly, we have to go back upstairs because. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. Now that we have a level two card. Love that noise. No need to hide the bodies because they just disappear because the processor couldn't handle corpses everywhere. We'll have to check this room back here and see if the doors are level two. Oh. God. Thank God that doesn't start the alarm phase. Ah. Nothing. Okay, those look like level six. Yeah, it'll be a while before we can go in there. And I've uh firmly came to the conclusion that commentary for this LP will be fairly sparse just because it's been so long since I've played it and I've been whew, God damn it. I've been uh, so nostalgic lately that I feel like I'm, yeah, just getting sucked in. And any time, like, I start a train of thought, I lose it when we shouldn't have to go back through. Okay, yeah. Since we left and came back in, it should have saved, which it did. I uh, started watching, uh... okay, let's see. Can we go quick? Well, I think I see where it, there we go. We just gotta do the wall, scoot on the wall. Like a sneaky, sneaky snake. Fuck! And this game doesn't have a... a roll or... or nothing. Okay, now we should be good. All right, I'm gonna say we should go back here just to check it out. 
Yeah, that was out. I, I uh, watched like Cyber City Odeo 808. And um, that's a level six also. And it just sent me sent me down like a, a rabbit hole of the old school Japanese you know like early to late 90s stuff so I've been really really feeling it and it was probably like this game would have been better not played while recording but I just I wanted to put it in the inventory of playlists because it's like a a goal of mine. That's gone. Why does that go all the way back there? What? Or is that just like some kind of contextual thing? Like, yeah, this vent is actually connected to something, but it really isn't. That must be it. Yeah, and we went through all here and looked under. Oh, there's a ration. Wrong side. We don't have any rations. Okay. DARPA cheat. Well, yeah, the decoy oct. Er, I mean the DARPA chief. Oh, come on. You hit the right buttons. Was stashing some rations. I love the fluorescent lights. All right, let's go through here. Anyway, my train of thought is like very very uh easily broken because of my level of like i'm trying to be immersed but i'm also like trying to commentate snake i unlocked the cargo door for you thanks where are you well i can see ya don't move around too much don't worry i'm disguised in this enemy uniform you won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Mm. Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait. You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. <laughs> Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry. But this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. See, that's... Whoa. There's a... Uh... One of the thoughts I had... Well, hold on. Anyway, the... Uh... One of the thoughts I had that this game in particular has that a lot of the other oh might as well I think those are SOCOM bullets a lot of the other Metal Gear games have that this one doesn't in such a strong flavor is like the weird I don't want to say like anachronism but like the not zany but there's like a quirkiness to like Kojima's writing and all the weird things that happen that are least present in this be careful snake that airlock is set with infrared sensors I know you probably can't see them with your naked eyes but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors 
Hmm, like maybe use my cigarettes? Is that, uh... Is that an option? But anyway, the, uh... I think you can actually call... Alright, this seems really out of perspective. I'm, like, gonna throw up. Alright, stand... Go back down, stand, inch, jack. Hopefully these cigarettes won't kill me. That one's going a little faster. God damn it. Well, goodbye, everybody. Um, as far, yeah, we're, we're toast. Let's not have that happen again. Yeah, the other other Metal Gear games. Yes, Meryl. All right, I have to answer, otherwise she'll just incessantly. Can we Be skip? Careful, Snake. That airlock okay, there we go. Again, not being able to finish my thought. Oop. Can we just do this? I think we can just do this. Well, that was silly. Get those cigarettes out of there. You should vape, Snake. See, that's one thing that's weird. There's some odd continuity things like uh and metal gear 5 boss has a uh vape cigar but in this game you smoke like smokeless cigarettes or something which yeah it's just kind of strange like how oh shit I don't remember this. I do now. Yep, left fucking landmines. Yes, <laughs> yes, Colonel. Tell me. Snake, oh. Be careful. There are claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? <laughs> Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen. There's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. That's clearly the VO that played, uh... Wait, what was his number? Is it right there in our face? Yep, okay. Oh, cool, they're auto-adding him. That's good. Uh, use a mind detector. Well, unfortunately... We don't have one of those. So let's just cr uh, crawl around. And in theory, we should pick up the Claymore mines thusly. If memory serves. Or do we have a mine detector and we're just... Oh yeah, you can use a thermal, thermal goggles. I think they'll, they'll show up that way too. They'll be red. Not a good time to have a boss fight. This is Raven's territory. Falcon Raven. Wouldn't it have just been easier to kill him and then you wouldn't have to worry about it? <laughs> That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground. 
around like the snake you are. There's one. A little early for another boss fight. Okay, he's just chilling out. So we have time. Yeah, we have some time to uh, collect these and then equip our ration because if I remember right, if you have a ration equipped and you take damage, it will automatically consume the ration to replenish your life bar. And if you stand up at any point, you get spanked. Oh, that old school doom. Here's the mind detector probably. Nope. All right, let's do that. Go back to these. Fill up our claymores. We can hold two more. All right. Wait for him to fire. Get up and hoof it. I don't recall how to beat this thing, so this might be hilariously bad. Ouch. Um. Do those? No, that's Metal Gear. How about... God damn it. Yep. This is going to be interesting because I completely forgot about this boss fight. And I don't recall in any memories how to beat him. What? I think you might be able to fool the tank's electronic systems with a chaff grenade. I fucking knew it. Did I not say that earlier? And I was like, no, I don't think that'll work. That's a different fight. See, I'm, I have a bias. My memory is cause, causing me to have a bias. Except I just deep throated a... Like fucking 20 millimeter tank round. All right. Okay, so we will equip a chaff grenade. You have to be standing to use it. and pound his bad boy bottom with some grenades. What is this? All right, let's heal up. Oh yeah, that's right. You throw them up in the cockpit. All right, grab this. See how you like this. See how you like this. No, no, we gotta stay close. Could you imagine this fucking fighting a goddamn tank? If I could get the fuck up, now I'm too far away and he's going to blow my ass out. Is that that close enough? Okay. Bad 
Badass. With on-site procurement of weapons. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. <laughs> Just as you said, in battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. I didn't know he was like a Native American. Because that's what the Sioux people are, is like one of the first uh, groups of Native Americans. At least, you know, as far as our... Oh, I probably don't have to worry about claymores anymore. I always thought he was like Russian or something, but having being a little older and wiser, I'm more familiar with that. That would that would stand to reason why they call him a shaman. Is this? Hmm. I seem to recall here using your box is very useful. 